This is a new song from Ludacris. And about 19 seconds into the song, he's thrown the 666 hand sign up. I mean, these people use any excuse they can. Yes, in the lyrics he's talking, some people like to smoke, but he didn't have to throw the 666 hand sign. It's just an excuse to throw it up. That's all it is. I mean, the song is full of occult symbolism, like always, full of the, oh, I've slept, he basically admits in the song, I've slept with loads of models, bragging about it. And as we see, you'll notice with a lot of these rappers that they wear this, basically, Egyptian occult symbolism. Because they know that the Egyptian occult symbolism is connected to one, the Illuminati, two, when Satan was basically cast out of heaven, he came down on earth and set all this garbage up. Most of the so called gods of Egyptian were fallen angels. That and that's who is in power now. You will never ever see the real elite. The Rockefellers and the Rothschilds are all that. They're just puppets. They're not the main elite. The main elite are the fallen angels. Satan runs everything. And the fallen angels. The elite don't run nothing. It's the elite. The elite means the high up. But well, as you can clearly see, 666 hand sign. And he doesn't just throw it up once, he throws it up many times. And there's a lot of cult symbolism in this music video. And it is not a surprise. And notice here, the satanic star. And it be, it's basically that, basically looks like he's wearing a dress here. Unless he does where it goes past the knees. It's basically the agenda that we all know we've done it. Jaden Smith basically flaunting and walking around in women's clothing like it's cool. No, it isn't. So, you know, most of these will do anything to get famous, but as you can see, the satanic star is connected to the the pentagram and all that, and as well, black and white darkness becomes one with lightness, the Freemason occult agenda. And there we go, 666 on time. This doesn't mean some people like to smoke. He's thrown the 666 hand sign up. No doubt about it. I mean, as you can clearly see. I mean, when he's promoting the satanic star, then throwing the 666 up twice. You know when they're doing it on purpose. Well, as you can clearly see, 666 hand sign promoting the mark of the beast and the image of the Antichrist. And there you go again. 666, 666, thrown out twice. I mean, over and over again, it is just an excuse for these people. When you curl your fingers like that, there's a reason it's called the 666. Hand sign, because... As you see, it forms a six. That is why it is called the 666 hand sign. And the media and that want to promote, oh, it means the OK sign. Doesn't look like the OK sign at all. Where's the K? So you know it's complete bull and garbage. Will people believe whatever the media tell them? Oh. I mean, because Satan's not going to come out and say, and he's not going to put his agendas in plain sight and go, oh, the devil horns means the devil horns. The 666 hand sign means the 666 hand sign. He's going to lie 
and say it means the OK sign, so every time you throw it up, you're worshipping the Antichrist. That's what they do. When they say, oh, the devil horns means rock on. It's all manipulation and monarch mind control. So every time you think it means rock on, people will openly throw it up. And that most people don't know. They're saluting the devil every time they throw it up. Well, that's what I mean. The devil ain't going to come out and say, Oh, the hand signs that you are throwing up is saluting me. Because then people know. Yep, now you see me point what I was saying. This is clearly a scare, no doubt about it. I mean, this is the agenda. It all started off with Jaden Smith, basically where he was wearing skirts. And then it started getting promoted in the media. And then Justin Bieber and all that decided to wear a skirt. It's... We all know what it's connected to. The LGBT, the one man to wear women's clothes and wear skirts. It isn't right. It, I mean, you can clearly see that this is promoting a skirt. A man wearing a skirt, what does it say in the Bible about this? But you can't say it today because it's classed as hate speech. You can't speak out against it because it's classed as hate speech. I mean, it's a joke. Oh, and look who we have here. There's no doubt. There's no women around it now saying, Oh, he's not, he's not promoting occult symbolism. Medusa. Medusa, known as the false Greek god. The snake-headed god. Basically, this is what they believe. I mean, it's, it never existed to start with. I mean, and you see it even in movies, in the Greek movies like Tight, Clash of the Titans and all that. You see them saying, all oh, these were the Greek gods. There was no Greek gods. It was a myth. Versace. Basically, that's what they call it. They don't openly come out and say it's Medusa. Because it would be a bit too obvious. Well, as you can see, snake-headed, so-called fake god. A body is basically a snake. A hair is a snake. Is what they believed if it, this thing looked at you, you would turn to stone. It's complete a myth, and it's... Just basically to get you to worship false gods. I mean, a snake god. I mean, we all know who the snake is, Satan. So, of course, Satan's going to promote that there was a snake god. So, you bow down and worship the snake, the serpent. But as well, noticed how one eye is utterly darkened, the right eye is utterly darkened. What a coincidence, not. I mean... One eye symbolism as well, black and white, darkness becomes one with lightness. But as you can clearly see that this song is full of agendas, promoting the Versace, the Medusa, false god. Because that's who these people worship, false gods. And I mean, there's a garbage lyric in this. He basically says, Marijuana was put on the earth for us to smoke it. No, it wasn't. There was no marijuana in the Garden of Eden. There was no mention of it. It didn't exist. This drug has been created by the New World Order. The, there ain't no plant living on the, the, living on the world that you can get, that purposely was made so you can get high off it. It was a drug created by the New World Order. I mean, just look up the card for drugs. The Illuminati game card and you'll see marijuana. You'll see it pop up. And that was created in 1995. 
but they want to promote that old god created marijuana. No, he didn't. He didn't correct. Why would God create a plant so you can get high off of it? I mean, honestly, joke. Marijuana was not created by God at all. It wasn't created by God. It was created by the New World Order, same as many people believe that cancer was created by thin air. No, it wasn't. It was created by the government. They've got the cure for cancer, but they won't. They won't give people the cure because the Satanists and the elite are sick people, and it's all part of the agenda of depopulization. They've got the cure for cancer, but of course they're going to promote the media like, oh, well, give us money, give us money, give us thousands of dollars so we can come up with a cure for cancer. Yeah, yeah, I'm really going to believe that. I mean, in the movies like Resident Evil, they say, oh, we got a cure, there's always a cure. Before you create a virus, there's always a cure. Same with, and many people can't deny this because this is a fact, the bomb on Yukushima that the US put on the Vietnam in Yukushima was a bacteria eating disease. So the flesh-eating virus disease was created by the New World Order. They used it on their own men in Vietnam to test it out. This is how sick the elite are. They create viruses and then release it onto the public to see what happens. The sick. And all these Satanists that defend all the elite, all the elite care about us. No, they don't. They want to depopulize the world and murder everyone. They don't care. They'll do anything for global domination because that's what they want. The reason they're trying to depopulize people and that they've been doing it for years is because... There's too many people in this whole world, and they can't control everyone. They want a number, a population that they can control. So that's why they're trying to depopulize the world with chemtrails and all that. And that's why. And you notice with these people, they'll always wear a cross. Oh, we're a Christian. No, they're not. No, it's here, the double cross. This is connected to the Nazis. I mean, you just look at the double cross and you'll see what it means. This is why these people wear the double cross. Jay-Z wears it now because it's all occultic. It's occultic, the double cross. There we go again from the 666 hand sign up. No doubt about it. As you can clearly see from the 666 hand sign up. Promoting the mark of the beast again.